Stephanie. This is Emily. And today we're back with a book bingo. Uh, we are doing historical fiction today. So yeah. So for historical fiction, I recently read the book The Woman in the Castle by Jessica Shatuck. And it is a series that kind of, at least in the beginning, starts off uh, with like the pre-war scene among a lot of the elite German class. And then going deeper, then immediately skipping over to the aftermath of the war and how the um, the, the entire catastrophe actually ends up landing um, and, and changing the lives of all of the German elite gentry. So it follows a lot of like the women, uh, two main women uh, characters, uh, one who was married to uh, the account um, and he has long then since deceased because he had de tried to defy the Nazi regime while um, she the other character who is now with her is a really close friend, childhood friend of the Count. So now they're kind of going through this journey of trying to survive post-war Germany. And the book itself was really interesting because it kind of documented finally in from I guess like an American English perspective of like trying to write from the other side. So like mm -hmm. a lot of times when you're reading World War II fiction, you're always reading about like more of the victim side of things. Okay. Um, less of like the part, the side of people who like actually was supposedly like the enemy, mm -hmm. but were also like civilians in, in that sense. So okay. you get to really understand just how devastating it was for the Germans, um, the average day Germans, when like the Soviets came and how mm -hmm. brutally the Soviets treated them and treated the women. Like a lot of the really like really nasty things that come with war like rape, pillage, mm -hmm. um, right. slaughter that all sort of happened to Germans after um, the Nazi party like lost you know their control mm -hmm. and so like in general this kind of con it's just basically a really so it's a simple but complex story <laughs> as well of like that particular angle to the war okay well mine was not so um Sad. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I picked, not that it's, you know, it looks, it looks like a great book, mm -hmm. but my book is uh, Girl in Translation by Jean Kwok, mm -hmm. and it's set in the mid 1900s, and it kind of goes into the story about a Chinese immigrant in the factory life in New York City. Oh, yeah. So I actually listened to it via audiobook, and it was interesting because the, the narrator really went into the whole like Chinese accent mm -hmm. with the English. So I think it's, I think they're originally from. Um, Hong Kong, so they have that Cantonese um, accent in English, mm -hmm. and it really showcased throughout the audiobook with the dialogue um, between uh, the character and all her family and friends. And it was really interesting, I really like this book just because it really goes into detail about how factory life was like in that time period and the struggles that she went with her mother um just trying to earn money you know while trying to also study and be like a good student and go into like you know learning her english and then ultimately become like getting her degree and whatever so i don't know i just really really i actually found this book very inspiring just because like this like the italians <laughs> i found this book really inspiring just because there's just so much struggles you know, like, not just the language barrier, because that was a huge struggle already in the beginning, but also the cultural barriers, the differences, the um, society, and, like, just how, the cap like, as a child as well, you know, like, with the little, with the children, and their lack of understanding and whatnot, I don't know, I just found this whole book to be really, really interesting, and I was glad I actually read it, because it was on my TBR for, like, ever. Okay. So, yeah. That's really interesting, because you generally say you don't like historical fiction. Yeah, I know. But, like, <laughs> this book I actually really liked. Okay. Yeah, I gave it, like, a four star. Alright, so I will maybe pick up this book, actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I got it via uh, the library. Yeah, yeah. As an audiobook. So cool. you can, like, okay. check that out. Yeah, because yeah, I think this definitely is up my alley in terms of, like, the content, mm -hmm. the story, as yeah. well as, like, just overall, like... I'm pretty sure like the the synopsis the yeah scheme. and it really it was kind of a kind of a typical like Chinese immigrant story too because it was um, the way how they came into the country was because of family yeah they had someone that kind of sponsored them and then like I don't know you when you read the story you'll be like wow like this is what family is like you know like not necessarily in a good way too by the way it's like a positive and negative both aspects um, but it was yeah it was definitely an inspiring read yeah 
Mm. So. I think um, for me though, like I kind of been going on this like World War Two like rampage where yeah, like, everything. This was, this was set. I would say this set in the mid 1900s, so it was like around that time. Yeah. But it was definitely not about World War Two. Like it yeah. was nothing to do with any of their aftermaths or whatever. It was yeah. solely cool. in the immigrant factory life yeah that's that's really interesting yeah. but yeah these are our picks for our book bingo so hopefully you happen to hear one of them and think that it's interesting enough to read or you've read them so definitely let us know in the comments down below and subscribe please because yep. we have bookish content every week and don't forget that we also have twitter instagram and facebook so don't do like and follow us there as well and we also have podcasts that we do curate uh videos or podcasts from the videos <laughs> yep cool yeah. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye.